welcome back to my channel. Today I have a little bit of a different video for you. Well, it's a different style of video, let's put it that way. Today's video is going to be me showing you how to use these guys right here and also just um, kind of like a first impressions slash how to video. So I'll talk you through how to do it, but I'll also talk about the product as well, if that makes sense. So let's get into this video. So I already did one hand and I thought I would just show you me doing the other hand. As you can see, these were originally my Christmas nails. Yes. So basically, first of all, all you're gonna do is file over the top of the nail. Now I had gel polish on, so we're gonna be removing gel polish and acrylic here. So maybe you might only have gel polish on, you can use these to get gel polish off, but you can also use these to get off your acrylic. Now I use tips, I'm not sure if it makes any difference whether you just use forms or not, but I find it quite hard to get these tips off. It seems to take forever, like forever. So just file away the top layer of the gel or the acrylic or whatever it is that you're trying to get rid of. I am then going to take my nail clippers and I'm just going to clip off the ends. Basically I do have long nails underneath but I just took this off basically from just above my real natural nail because obviously I didn't want to cut my real nail but you want to get off as much as you can so that you're not having to wait for it all to soak because it takes forever. So this is what the box looks like. I have already shown you it, but yeah, I guess I just thought I would show you it here. It's the Jealous Nails, Gel and Shellac Nail Polish Remover. Now, I obviously, I don't know whether these are mainly designed for shellac, but obviously you can also take off acrylic with these as well. These are so cool, you basically got the foil. So I'm just taking out five of these because obviously I only have one hand to do. It will save you time if you do both hands at the same time, by the way, because you are going to be doing a lot of waiting around for this. So this is just some acetone. Now this is only 99% acetone. I feel like if it was 100% it might have been stronger. You will see in this video that it did take me a few attempts to do this. But yeah, normally I would just use a piece of tin foil and cut up cotton pad. So this is so much easier because the pad is already stuck to the foil and it literally, like you can see there, it's so much easier, like I can already say. This is a lot easier than doing it yourself because it takes me forever to like hold the pad on, hold the thing on, wrap it on, nightmare. This way is so much easier. So that's it on one finger and then I thought I would just speed this video up and show you applying all the rest but obviously you don't need to see it all in real time do ya? Oh yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know, I don't know if you can see there, but the black writing that's on the foil does come off once you've put the acetone on. It does kind of like smudge and melt off and you kind of get that on your fingers, but it's not a big deal. Like it's not the end of the world or anything. Didn't really bother me. You can just wash your hands afterwards. So that is that. Now I left these on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then I'm just going to take them off. Just to let you know now, when I took them off, I kept them in a specific order because I decided obviously I was going to be putting them back on, so I thought I'll just keep them in the same order that I take them off so I know which one's going on which. So then you're going to take your cuticle pusher or whatever you've got that you can kind of try and get some of this product off your finger with. So I'm using my cuticle pusher and I'm just scraping away the top layer. Now the top layer of the acrylic slash the gel is all soft, I mean the gel just melts straight off, it's the acrylic that's difficult. And I basically just melted away the top layer and scraped it away with a cuticle pusher. Then you just wanna take your nail file and file all that off as much as you can. Just 
And then I just thought I would show you me do that with all the other nails too. So then what I decided to do, once I scraped all of that off, it's time to put them back on, I just decided to dip my finger in the acetone. I don't know if this did anything, but I figured rather than unwrapping the whole thing and putting some acetone, more acetone on the pad, because the pad is still wet, I just thought if I dip my fingers in the acetone for a few seconds before I put the pad back on, it might help a little bit. I don't know, but that's what I tried to do anyways. So I'm just doing that with all five fingers. Then I'm going to leave that on for another 10 to 15 minutes and then we are back and we are going to do the whole thing again. So you take it off, making sure that you keep track of which one goes on which finger, so just put them in order at the side and I basically just take my cuticle pusher and I start pushing off that soft layer again. You might need to clean your cuticle, you might need to clean your cuticle, oh my god I can't speak, what's going on? You might need to clean your cuticle pusher at this stage because it can, the, the, the acrylic just sticks to it, it sticks to everything, it's quite messy, this is quite a messy job, but yeah, I'm just going to do that then with all five fingers. And then you're going to take, sorry, yeah, you are going to take your file and file over and get it all so it all comes off. So at this side I just decided that I wanted to try and take, if you look at the pointy edge on the cuticle pusher, this is like um, a pincher slash pusher and it just has this little spiky edge on it, like you can see there. I just decided to try to try and etch like more holes and lines into the nail because I thought maybe that also might help the penetration of the acetone. I don't know whether it actually did but that's just what I tried doing. I think it actually might have helped a little bit.
So once you've got that all on, you're then going to leave it again for another 10 to 15 minutes and then come back and do the whole thing again. And hopefully this time, maybe it might all be off. Let's have a look. I feel like the tip is the hardest bit to get off. I'm going to be trying sculpted nails and I'm gonna try taking off the sculpted nails and see maybe if that's a little bit easier. I feel like acrylics definitely files quicker than the tip files. So maybe it'll be easier to get the acrylic off rather than the tips. So I just want to show you a little trick now. This is how we're going to see whether there's any acrylic left on the nail. Sometimes it's really, really hard to tell. So you're going to get a cotton pad and put some acetone onto it. Then can you see there where it's clear and not got all the scratches on it? That is still acrylic because the acetone has melted the top layer of the acrylic. That's why there's no lines. Your natural nail will be all liney and you'll be able to see all the lines on it. So let's try that again. So you can see there is still some acrylic there. It's the part that's kind of not got lines on and it's not rough. Now, like when you've just filed, that just looks like it's all your nail. Like there we go, there we go. We've got it, we've got it all off now. So that is just a really good tip for you so you can actually see whether all the acrylic is off your nail or not. And I learned that little tip from Kirsty Meekin on Nail Your Nails and she's just awesome. I love her so much. So yeah, some of them still weren't quite there yet. Um, I think I did about two or three were, were, were fine and then the others still had a couple more to, they needed to go back in again for a few more minutes. So with those ones that needed to go back in, I did just pop them while I was doing the rest of the nails. I popped some more acetone on, popped the foil back on and left them for another few minutes. Like you can see the thumb has still got it on. But I think, ooh, these are looking like they might be okay. So yeah, once you've got all the acrylic off of all your nails, you're just gonna take a buffing brush and buff over them nails and get them nice and smooth. Then once I buffed them all, I just took some cuticle oil, whichever you like and I just applied that to the cuticle area and smoothed over all the nails and the fingers just to make them nice and moist I guess and cuticle oily eyes. And then you can see they all pretty! Natural nails again, yay! the end of the video I hope this was useful I hope that you liked this style it's kind of how I'm thinking I might do my nail videos so I'll just film the nail videos and then I'll come and I'll edit it and then I'll talk about it afterwards in this kind of way I really like Kirsty Meekin's videos because she's in the videos now a lot of nail people will film it and then they'll do a voiceover afterwards this is kind of what we're doing here but I'm actually gonna film it not just record it not just record the audio but actually film so that I can pop in and out and we're still kind of here having a conversation kind of face to face does that make sense did this work please let me know if you think that this this whole setup this whole style worked and if you did that is how I will do the rest of my nail videos well most of my nail videos anyway I hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much to Mercedes for getting me these these make it so much easier I'm probably gonna have some more reviews on different types of nail things because I'm like just seriously loving the nail thing right now and you guys seem to be liking it too so yes do let me know if you enjoyed this video thank you so much to everyone for watching I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one Bye!